Hey everyone, it's Michael with another travel and credit card video. And I wanted to change it up today and kind of do one that's more personal as I'm actually traveling right now and I want to give you a view of my current destination, which is actually, we're actually in Korea, as you can see here. It's a very gloomy day, unfortunately, and um, yeah. But on to the topic for discussion. Discussion, once again, um, trifectas, bifectas, credit card setups are so popular right now in today's game. and. I think I can. I came up with one where you don't have to get one from every issuer or one issuer that rules them all. You know, the Chase setups or the American Express setups, the City setups, the Capital One dual setups. I think actually combining these cards together, get one setup, can actually be beneficial for everyone. So we're going to discuss here and see if there's one that can give you one more power and less annual fees going forward. All right, the City Premier card is the first card in the trifecta setup, and it is the Powerhouse card similar to American Express Gold Card and the American Express Setup. And I've been wanting this card for a while and I haven't been able to get it, but let's go to the, the multipliers here and it really shines with the 3X multipliers and all the important categories for the credit card game. And that is on the 3X on dining, restaurants, and gas. Yes, it has the other, I think, 3X multipliers on travel, but we'll get to that part in the next segment. And Capturing those 3x categories in the most in the most important way with a $95 annual fee is super super important. And to go with the fact that the one common thing with the three cards in this setup is that they're all accessible to transfer partners. So having accessibility to the travel partners for City is huge and it can get the most value for your currency going forward. So while the City Premier lacks in the travel and rental protection, as everyone knows. The second card in the lineup is where it picks up where it left off, and that is the American Express Platinum. No, I'm sorry. This Chase Sapphire Reserve, and this is Chase's premier travel card, as I've discussed in many videos. And one of the reasons why I chose this over the Platinum is because um, the third card, which could be a little bit of a spoiler. But the Chase Sapphire Reserve is your powerhouse travel card with the um, 5X on flights, which I've actually seen personally. It's given a good financial value overlooking that Google Flights. And then the 10x on rental and hotel as well through the Chase portal can help as well. Also, if you're not advised of taking car rentals, the 10x multiplier on Lyft till the end of next year is very tantalizing as well. So things to consider for the multipliers for Chase Sapphire Reserve. As for the credits, it's huge. The $300 travel credit that's given every year is, is tremendous. And of course, the $100 global TSA entry credit as well. So with that $550 annual fee, it effectively brings it down tremendously with $400 in credits. And with all Chase cards, the power in this travel card and all the cards in this setup is its power for to transfer your currency to transfer partners. And they've got huge players, which I've mentioned, Hyatt, um, Southwest, and United domestically, and a lot of international partners as well as Virgin Atlantic. So with that in mind, think about using Chase uh, Sapphire Reserve as your second card in your, your trifecta as it can take you to many places in the world. With Chase and to try to compete with America's Platinum, it's not there yet, but as you know, why it's a premier travel card is because of the priority pass lounges it has over 1,000 in its network worldwide. And the huge thing that's really been coming up strong is their own Sapphire lounges, which two currently right now, they have one in Boston and they have one in Hong Kong. It does show on the website that it has one in Las Vegas coming up soon. And I think the thing to note here is that over time, this will spread across the world and it should compete with its, with other issuers, as I've noted with American Express. So you're playing the waiting game, but also believing in the brand and what it brings going forward for Chase. And the last card of Trifecta, if you haven't guessed it already, as I noted it in the second card with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, is your catch-all card. And it's the, it is the American Express Blue Business Plus card. It is your 2X catch-all card. And... Also, another reason why is I wanted to keep the annual fees low as that's kind of the thing in my videos. And with a $0 annual fee and a, a good welcome bonus right now as well. I didn't mention the welcome bonuses, but it has a decent welcome bonus. Um, there's one 15,000 15, points and it's 75,000 points. I'll notate it here. And you can see if you that interests you. But the key thing, 2x catch-all really kind of beats the Chase Freedom Unlimited, which is the 1.5 catch-all. But that's more debatable on currencies. But the key thing again, 
with all three cards is this card has access to transfer partners for the American Express ecosystem and be able to use your points to transfer to transfer partners is a huge thing with my new setup that I'm proposing here. Mind the raindrops here as it's a very rainy day in Seoul and I have to kind of go through the typhoon right now so noise reduction is not its best place but in summary three cards three different issuers what do we think best way to go with an effective annual fee of about $245 if you use all the credits um, to, to advantage is very advantageous compared to as we've noted with American Express got high annual fees or with um, Chase too many overlapping categories and of course with even with Capital One it's got a duo but just not enough multipliers really to justify some of the most, most important categories for an individual. So I really thank everyone for listening to the video and please let me know in the comments below what everyone thinks. Is this something that's been done before? Has it been done? I don't know. But kind of think about it as I've been traveling the last couple of days. Maybe think, hey, instead of doing, you know, doing a setup with one issuer, how about three different issuers? As using using different issuers really gives you the expansion and using your points for travel accommodations, more partners, more airlines to use, and more places to travel around the world. So I appreciate everyone joining in, and as I say always, life is short. Travel more, everyone. Have a good day.